Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fast growing gear site on the web. And today we got an all new drop from Icon. It's the domain. What's up, Speed Addicts fam? Before we jump in and tell you all about this brand new lid from Icon, do me a favor and subscribe to the Speed Addicts channel. That way you stay up to date on brand new releases like this Icon domain helmet, which we're getting a first peek at here at Speed Addicts. Now, if you decide you'd like to purchase any of the products we're gonna show you today, we make it real easy. There's a link in the description below to get over to speedaxe.com, purchase a new Icon domain, because you deserve it, or any other parts or gear you might need for your next two-wheel adventure. So the crazy folks out of Portland have dropped an all-new helmet for us. It is the domain. It's not very often Icon releases a completely new model, so we're very stoked about this helmet. It's got some really awesome updates, things that we've been looking for from Icon for a while now. But first up, just look at it. It's kind of crazy. It's got like the Ant-Man Street Fighter look. It's uh, got an enormous face shield that is nice and rounded, gonna give you awesome visibility. Of course, Icon always throws down the killer graphics. This is the Lucky we're looking at here. And over here, this is the Cornelius Silver, AKA the Silver Surfer. They have also got solid gold. I'm sure more to come in the way of graphics. Uh, these are launching. Quick note, if you're watching this now when we're releasing it, this is uh, February of 2023. These helmets will be in stock at speedax.com come March and April. They'll kind of trickle in, depends on the graphic you're looking for. So just wanted to note that. As far as what bike you might want to ride this on, I mean, naked bikes, street or sport bikes, V-twins, uh, will all play nicely with the domain. You're getting integrated comms and relatively affordable price considering it is a fiberglass shell. So it's nice and lightweight, 3.3 pounds. It's gonna run you 295 for the stripped down model. These helmets have a lot of different interchangeable parts. I'm gonna break this all down for you in the video, but suffice to say, very simply, the least expensive domain is the matte black version, the rubber tone black. It's gonna be 295. It will only come with a clear face shield installed, no extra goodies. Now, if you pay 350 for one of their fancier graphics, like the Lucky here in front of me, you're gonna get that RST Iridium shield like shown here, as well as an extra clear shield in the box. So if you wanna upgrade, you get a few more goodies. The goodies change depending on the helmet, the Cornelius here, you're gonna get the silver shield and an extra diffuser. More on all that later. And when it comes to all the different interchangeable face shields, diffusers, they're all sold individually, so you're welcome to mix and match. Okay, back to the helmet itself. 3.3 pounds, making it relatively lightweight. Anything that is closing in on that three pound mark feels really light when you pick it up. They've accomplished that by using a fiberglass shell, which is a step up from say a polycarbonate or plastic shell. Now, one of the most important things about the new domain helmet is that it is ECE 2206. In case you're not familiar, the ECE homologation is the European standard. They've just moved from 2205 to 2206, which is a more rigorous testing um, standard. They're doing four drop tests, is my understanding, instead of just one. So not only do they still have the same drop test, they also have a high velocity, a low velocity, and an angular um, impact to really put the helmet through the ringer, bring the safety standards up. All the manufacturers are doing their best to raise the bar. The domain is here and it is 2206. It's also of course DOT legal. That means it's ready to ride in the United States. The fit, always one of the most important part of our videos. You will notice this helmet runs relatively true for most heads. If you've got an Airfly or another Icon helmet, you're gonna notice that this helmet fits you pretty well. It probably has a little bit more room in the cheek pads They've not gone quite as thick in the cheek pad area, which is nice. Uh, some people are noticing it fit slightly. Uh, I'd call it intermediate oval plus, maybe a little bit more round. So if you're between sizes, my recommendation, what we've been seeing is folks round up and they're usually in good shape. Uh, otherwise, according to the sizing chart, or if you've had an icon before, order that same size, you should be dialed in. They're using three shell sizes, okay, to make up the range, which is good. You're not gonna be wearing too much helmet that way. More shell sizes, the better. Three shells, three EPSs. Go by the sizing chart, you should be in good shape. Now, in case you miss, we know that can happen when you're ordering gear online. You really should be buying your helmet here at Speed Addicts because we got you covered with no cost returns. All you have to do to qualify is live in the lower 48 states. Make sure the helmet's brand new in the original packaging. A couple clicks, you get a free return label from speedaddicts.com. Exchange, get a refund, whatever you need to do. We've got you covered, give us a shot and we'll treat you like family. Okay, onward, let's break down this new domain helmet. First up, the ventilation. So it's got that Street Fighter look. It's kind of got the drag racing vibes. 
Um, I'm detecting a little bit of influence from maybe Simpson, I don't know. Um, but it does look like it's got that, that drag racer mug on it. Now this ventilation down here is switchable. So on the inside, which we'll show you when we flip this over, there is a switch here. So you can turn this on and off. A lot of helmets that kind of have this look are not necessarily switchable. There it goes. So you can close off that chin bar ventilation. Up at the top, very sleek brow vents here that essentially disappear when you close that. Um, a little slick on this, but you should be able to work it with, with gloves on. They're tight out of the box. The ventilation is gonna pipe in air right into the EPS grooves that they made and they kind of make a, a Y shape. So they start out here and then they join together in the back for this massive extraction. When you hold the helmet up to the sun and look from the inside, you can see this window clearly through that EPS. So this giant grill is not just for looks, it's actually really extracting all the hot air out of the helmet. And the liner is also relatively minimalistic in that it doesn't have a bunch of extra mesh webbing in it. Suffice to say, the helmet will keep you cool. We're gonna show you more about that, the ventilation once we work our way in. There are no extra um, ducts or vents down low or winglets, but because of the way this is designed, it will do the job for you. Let's talk about your face shield options. So you have a lot of options. Like I said, most of the helmets that are uh, in that 350 price range are gonna come with an extra shield. Now, the, the shield, the extra shield, the iridium or smoke or whatever it's coming with is gonna be installed from the factory. The clear is gonna be put separately in the box. A note on the no do, no, <laughs> new domain shields, when it comes to the smoke and iridium to get them to pass EC2206, you'll notice that they're not super dark. They're a little bit lighter tent than the previous iridium and smoke shields from Icon. I, you know, I hear mixed reviews on that. A lot of people actually like a lighter iridium tent because if they're out in different lighting conditions, they can get away with it. Whereas a darker tent, as soon as you get in clouds or low light conditions, that thing's gotta get swapped out. Otherwise you're gonna be unsafe. So you're gonna get the clear shield in the box. <clears throat> Extra, okay. With the Lucky, the Cornelius, you know, that's, that's how this is gonna work. All their face shields are anti-fog treated. Their anti-fog from Icon is really nice. Also available, sold separately, except on, I think on one of the graphics, I think it's like the Tiger Blood, uh, is the Moto version of the shield. They come in the smoke, in the iridium. It's got a cool look. Let's put that on for you so you can see exactly how that goes. So we're gonna test out their fast change. It's just a little release. You know, you've seen <clears throat> mechanisms like this before, nothing special, but uh, easy enough to work. So let's pop this off. I'm gonna put the new one on in the open position. Okay, we've swapped out the visor from the RST Iridium Shield that came on the Lucky with the optional Moto Visor. It's kind of got a rubberized uh, peak here. It's gonna give you more of a look than anything. It's really not gonna block that much sun, but it is a, a kind of a cool looking option. When you're swapping out the shields, make sure you pull the trigger down when you're removing the shield in the open position. And then when you go to put the new visor on, you're gonna also have to pull that. You don't get away with just pushing it on with the domain. There are no detents. Um, so you are either all the way closed or all the way open when it comes to the face shield on this helmet. Okay, one of the other cool things that's been sitting on the table eyeballing you over here is the Helm Link. So this has integrated communication systems sold separately for $350. This is made by Senna. It is a 50 series equivalent with mesh, HD speakers, voice controls, all the goodies you're gonna want. Very high end system that easily installs into the domain. One of a, a great, one of many great reasons to buy the domain. Now you're saying, I already have a comm system. I don't wanna buy your proprietary comm system, Shad. That's okay. I still love you, we're friends. Uh, you can run your own comm system here, whichever one you want. Now, the the space between the shell and the EPS is really tight here. You're not gonna be able to run a clamp system. You're gonna have to go adhesive, but luckily the shape of the helmet right here where you're gonna wanna install that, that comm unit is nice and smooth and you get a nice surface to uh, put an adhesive mount there so you are good to go. You don't have to use the helm link, but if you don't have a system or you're down to upgrade, the helm link is an excellent system. We're gonna make a whole video just about the helm link separately, so look out for that. Okay, let's check out the inside of the domain helmet. You're getting a removable chin curtain. You have lots of room up here. They've made extra room up in the chin bar for your nose. There's a little carve out. Let's see if I can get light on that. So 
If you're the type that gets a little claustrophobic when you get close to the chin bar, I know some folks are, they've carved out a little bit extra room for your nose and uh, just a little more com comfort in there. Uh, also hard to see is the switch for that interior ventilation. You can kind of see the back of the studio through there, so that is totally switchable. Double D rain closure, they're using their Hydra Dry interior that is wicking antimicrobial, dries twice as fast as cotton. And that's the same stuff that they used in um, their previous helmets. Really comfortable. Now you'll notice they did do their typical icon thing where they're not just gonna go with one color interior. You wanna go with the Silver Surfer over here, you get the red interior, the Lucky's got the silver. They're spending extra money to give you a custom experience here. Okay, let's remove the chin curtain. One of the other cool features I noticed is that they have this little pocket. At first I thought this was a emergency release cheek pad. What that actually is for is for your uh, earplugs. So you can put one in each side and stash your earplugs when the helmet is off of your head. Let's remove the cheek pads and we're gonna show you kind of where the helm link plugs in if you choose to run that and uh, also how the EPS looks in this helmet. I will tell you the snaps off the shelf very tight when you're pulling these out. You wanna, when you're removing these, get your finger as close to the snap when you can, as you can when it's in the helmet and gently leverage it. That way you don't break anything. Cheek pads are available in all sorts of different sizes. So what I always recommend to people, if you're unsure about your fit, of course your test, test uh, fitting in your living room. If you're unsure about the fit, remove the cheek pads, put the helmet back on your head, focus on the crown fit. That is the important part. These can be adjusted. Uh, easily just call rider support here at Speedax. We'll get you set up with different set of cheek pads. The crown is a little more difficult to adjust. You might need a different shell size. So if the crown isn't fitting you right, call us, ask for help, and we'll go from there. There's your other cheek pad. <clears throat> with the cheek pads out of the way, you are gonna see where your helm link plugs in on the side. Now, <clears throat> the computer is gonna go in your signature icon swoop back here, this panel pops out, let's show you that as well. Let's get the headliner out of the way. We'll just show you the whole shoot and match. The headliner is very tight when I removed it earlier. Same thing here, okay. Now, the speaker pockets here will probably fit whatever comm system you're running. So not only will you have room to put the computer on the side with an adhesive mount, should you choose to not use the integrated comms from Icon, Senna, um, you can also hijack the speaker pockets. Okay, here's your headliner. Now you'll notice it's kind of like the mohawk design. They got the crown and then the strip down the middle. There's not a bunch of extra mesh foam material. All that stuff makes you hot. It's, I feel like it's really for looks more than anything. Some brands don't want you to see any of the EPS liner inside. I think that's whack. This is the way to do it. They're also giving you kind of a little extra piece of foam across the forehead that can catch sweat. So removable, washable, serviceable, custom fitable, all the bowls. Let's pull out this back pocket. So inside of here, there's a little tab to allow you to slide this out of the way. And now we can talk about the helm link in a little bit more detail. Again, we're gonna do a full breakdown video separately. Here is your helm link. So you have the computer pack that's gonna install back here. You have not one, but two antennas for really killer uh, reception. And then you're going to run your control modules to the outside of the helmet on these little panels here. So it's a very sleek integrated system it's gonna use a boom mic. It comes with the Senna's uh, most updated boom mic here, so really good audio quality. And the boom mic is going to run right inside behind this cheek pad. So high red boom mic plugs in up here. So all the routing is very seamless, no wires. It's a good setup. Okay, now that we have all the goodies out of the way, you're going to notice that those brow vents that I showed you earlier are using <clears throat> kind of this uh, induction system to really pull the air through. This is a unique, I've seen channels, I've seen different kind of designs when it comes to the ventilation. This one's very unique. It's gonna run all your channels that are venting through your forehead, through the crown, through this single escape in the back. And if I get out of the way, you can see the studio appear back there because it's got that giant uh, extractor vent to really pull all that air, hot air out of the helmet. So ventilation check. Com system check, got three shell sizes. One thing I didn't tell you about, on the Cornelius, the rubber tone matte black, the silver Cornelius, and the gold Cornelius, they're gonna give you this diffuser. You can buy these and put them on any of the graphics. <clears throat> it's gonna plug in just like so. 
So on the Cornelius, it's gonna come out of the box with this extra diffuser. Pretty cool, you can purchase them. They have all different colors and in Psalm on any of the domain graphics. All right, there was a lot to tell you about this helmet. There's a lot of add-ons. You can customize it, make it yours. You've got the Moto helmet, you got the Iridium Shield, you got the comm system, one year warranty from Icon. That does it. Now, if I miss something, don't worry. Head over to speedx.com, Rider Support standing by. Yes, you can talk to a human over there through the phone, live chat, or email. Of course, if you got one of these already, you're on the ball. Let us know how you like them in the comment section below. Do not take my word for it. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.